Hello YouTube, this is Brewmaster H coming to you with another beer review in World of Tanks gameplay. Today we've got Bittersweet Lenny's Rye Double IPA or RIPA by Schmaltz Brewing Company out of New York, uh, also known as Hebrew, the chosen beer. All right. Um, the aroma is caramel and kind of a burnt toasted toffee smell with biscuits and a faint citrusy aroma. Our appearance is a deep orange with a foamy off-white head that eventually bubbles down to a thin layer on top of the beer. Flavor deeply bitter initially, followed quickly by sweet caramel and bread, which recedes again into some earthy bitter tones. Our mouthfeel, it's a very thick and creamy beer with a softer carbonation, uh, just very smooth. Overall, I expected more rye character and was really glad not to get it because I don't like rye. Rye bread, rye anything is not my thing personally. Uh, there's so much flavor that I would definitely recommend savoring this beer, which also might be a good idea due to its 10% alcohol content. Just, uh, you know, food for thought. This label says this is a rye double IPA, and it definitely shows that it's a, a double, although it hints more at an English style with its earthiness than an American IPA, which would be more citrus and pine-centered. Either way, I would definitely drink this again. Let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. I can't guarantee that this is going to be the most amazing content you ever saw, because this is kind of an older one. But, I hope you guys enjoy. Check this out, we have an M103 game for you today on Abbey. And I am bottom tier technically because it's a tier 9 and 10 match. And we're up against a few uh, top tier heavies. And this game's going to be pretty entertaining. I'm going to go cover this side because it looks like most everybody else is going the other way. And at least this way we might get eyes. But, um, you know, with all the decent, good to decent players that we have on our team, according to XVM anyway, um, I was expecting a little more support in this direction. but. Not a big deal. So, we're going over here. We've got a Leopard PTA and T-54 and possibly artillery support from that object. Um, and we're going to try to do some work over here. Moving forward, trying to get some spots. Trying to make sure that we don't get completely wrecked in the first 14 seconds of the game. Because that's always fun. And here we go. I'm going to do what heavy armor is supposed to do. Love this M103. Still not fully upgraded. I finally got the top turret. I think the last thing I need are both the top gun and the, uh, <laughs> there we go. Someone's got some spots on that guy. Oop, lots of, lots of guys here. Oh man, a Jagdpanzer E100 pulling back. Got hit by the Stritzvang. Those stupid little Swedish TDs are a nuisance. At, at best, they're a nuisance. I'm going to try to push up after this shot comes through so that I can counter this E75 and hold him in place at the very best. I'm going to side scrape. Here we go. Oh, there. Pulled back just in time. He aimed at my upper plate. We're going to aim at his lower plate. And we're only going to track him because RNG says, ha ha, suck it. So he's tracked. We're going to pull back again. We're going to wait for this other E75 to pull forward. And thank you. Free shot. Oh, and there's a fire. 664 damage. Jagdpanzer E100 is going to pose a larger problem, however. So, we're going to... Oh, there we go. Got some got some spotting. Oh, no damage on that E75, unfortunately. Got tracked. Uh-oh. Uh, look at that. My ping just went to 999. I thought I was completely screwed here. But I'm going to use this E75 as cover. Unfortunately, did not penetrate that guy. And I'm going to push him back. And I'm going to hopefully wreck this other E75. The Jagdpanzer is making the mistake of ignoring me, and he's pushing straight past me. So I'm just going to use my armor and block this E75 that's behind me. And then I'm going to turn and put one in the back of this Jagdpanzer. Look at this guy. All right, turning my turret back, hoping he hasn't reloaded yet. He hasn't. Here we go. And let's see. All right, I'm going to see if I can get the kill on... Nope, nope. Unlock the target. Shoot him in the lower plate. Boom. That Jagdpanzer is out of commission already. T-54E1 over here. I'm going to use this E-75 for cover and kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Come on. Oh, took a shot from him before before I bounced. But T-54E1, dangerous autoloader. Going to try to angle so that both of these guys are... Ooh, there we go. That helps. Track. There we go. Angle. Angle. Come on. Angle. Don't kill me. Angle. 
trying to push the C-75 out of the way. And there it is. Very nice. So part of it was me doing a decent job of using my armor, and part of it was the enemy being really bad. So it's E-75, gonna try to get a shot in, and... Ooh, he sniped my Coppola, loader got damaged, and I bounced my shot off of him, because it's hard to it's hard to hit an E-75. They're really, really, relatively tough tanks. And let's see. Pull back, he shot and missed. I'm gonna see if I can... Nope, nope, he's back in the cover of the house there. So, ooh, someone else took him out, though. Now we get to push this Spritzfang. Hopefully, we don't get wrecked over here, but we've already done a decent bit of damage, some good spotting damage, and some uh, some helpfulness in general to our team. So, we're pushing up. The score's 11 to 3. Like, this went really, really well for us. They, they, they kind of ignored me. It was kind of funny. I only got focused by one E-75 at a time, and I was able to use him to block any any positive possible shots from the other guys, but the... Man, oh man. Now, this is the part that's going to ignore the heck out of me because I can't apparently see something that's only 100 meters ahead. Not even 100 meters ahead. But, guess what can see me? Anything that wants to. Alright, so I'm just going to pull out and hopefully get a... Get a oop, got a block on him. Oh, can I, can I even damage this guy? There we go, there we go. And of course I can't damage him because that would make sense. And of course he kills me. That, that tank might be just a little bit overpowered. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Is this Twitzfang overpowered? Because that thing is just ridiculous. 120 millimeter gun. Can't penetrate it because I don't have a 122 millimeter gun. Russian bias? Russian bias, maybe? Oh, here we go. The E75 is coming in on the side. The Batchat 25. And that's the game. Well, almost the game. Wait a minute. No, that's that's got to be the game. There it is. Here it is, guys. Second class mastery badge. Almost 30,000 credits earned and 1,900 XP earned. So, got a, a little bit of damage in there. Did some work. M103, top by XP earned. Partly because I was low tier and I was shooting all those top tier tanks. And partly because, you know, I did a decent bit of damage. So, 2,500 damage. Not too shabby. More than anyone on the enemy team at all. So that's good. Um, I did lose 4,000 credits because, this, you know, tier 9 tanks. The economy is just so easy to deal with, right? 13 shots fired. Only 12 out of those hit. So I missed one, but only 6 penetrated, which was kind of baloney in some way. You know, I bounced a couple that were weird, and I, I only did tracking damage on one or two. But I did get shot 9 times, and only 4 of those penetrated. So, 1300 damage blocked by armor. Armor held up quite well until the very end there with that stinking Stritzvong. Um, and I did 766 assistance damage, so I was feeling pretty good about that. 1900 overall XP, um... Made a nice little jump there, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.